Good evening, uh, Facebook, social media, Twitter world, everyone. I am feeling horrible today. I messed around and caught a very nasty cold. And um, I've been in bed for two days. And I got up this afternoon to do a little bit of work. And then I decided that there was still work to be done. Because as my loyal readers who have supported me from the first indication that I was going to put this book out. Oh, God, I'm looking rough. Oh, God. Wow, I got to fix this. Well, that just goes to show you just how raw and how real I am to you guys. And how I wanted you guys to experience what I experienced. I wanted you, as you were reading this book, I wanted you to be in the moment. I wanted you to be right there when that parole board said, no, you're not going home. I wanted you to be right there when my mother done all of her foolishness. And I wanted you to be right there when I overcame all of it. And as you can see from the photos in the back, how excited, you know, I shared some photos in the back of where I am in my life because I figured, okay, if I can let people see where I am after witnessing all that I have gone through, then they can truly see the full transformation come full circle. So I wanted you all to know that I, I'm, I'm, there are just no words to express how appreciative I am to all of you for all of your support and all of your words of encouragement and your continued um, support of this project as I am working hard trying to get it out on a broader scale. And as we can see now, I'm working on my, these are my, um, these are some of the signed autograph copies that I am getting out, but then we have 60 more of these to go. So I am definitely doing everything that I promised you guys that I would. I've always been one of my word. If I said I was going to do something, then I stick to that. If I'm unable to do that, then I at least come back and let you know, hey, this is going to be delayed because of A, B, and C. Um, today I received, um, I, I, you know, throughout my life, my life has not been pretty. I accept that it is what it is, and I'm, I applaud that. You know, I don't think I would be who I am today without all of the occurrences that took place in my life. I appreciate those bad times as hard as it is to admit that now I appreciate those bad times because those bad times brought me to this place in my life and there is no one who can tell me that telling my truth the way that it is in this book was wrong and there is no one that can convince me that telling my truth this way was inappropriate. I wanted you guys to understand what I went through. And I didn't want to sugarcoat it. I didn't want to fluff it. I didn't want you all to say, okay, well, Victor's walking through the forest and the clouds are fluffy and the sun is bright and there may be some drizzle. No. Victor wanted to give you the real of what he went through because I didn't want to set you up to believe something that did not happen. So every word in this book is truth. It is 100% gospel and I stand by that until the day I die. I have no shame and I feel no embarrassment in telling you the things that transpired in my life. The number one rule that I had when I committed to doing this in October was that if I did it, I was going to do it truthfully and I was going to do it honestly. And I was not going to sugarcoat it. And I'm proud that I stuck to those guns. That is why I did not go with the book company. And I mentioned this earlier, two separate book companies wanted me to remove myself from the book. Now think about it. How could this be without me on the cover of this book? I mean, really? Me not on the cover of this book? Are you serious? My autobiography, but me not on the cover. Are you serious? So they wanted me to remove myself from the book and make the book totally fiction. And I said, no, I'm not doing that. The book is, my life is real. The book is real. And in order for me to tell the story, it has to be done real. A lot of people are not ready for the type of reel that I, you know, expose you to in this book. But when I go back to Amazon on my page and I read the reviews that so many of you have taken the time to leave on my book page, it confirms that I did the right thing. This book wasn't about tea. It wasn't about gossip. 
although some details in this book is kind of in that arena, but this book was my story and, and I'm happy that you guys love it. Um, so I'm not going to hold you too long. I just wanted to let you know, for those of you that were told that you were going to get the autograph copy, I am working on them as we speak and I will not go to bed tonight until they are all done so that I can get them in the mail tomorrow to you. So again, thank you guys so much for your support. There are no words to describe just how appreciative I am. And I will keep you informed of things coming up. Coming up, I know there is an interview that is potentially in the works with a local organization here in Dallas. Um, there's some conversation about bringing me on for an interview. So I will let you know about that so you can tune in or at least be able to catch the YouTube uh, video of it. Um, but again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I cannot have not, would not have been able to do this without you. And so to all of you, just thank you. Thank you. Peace.